Let the Spirit of God take you to your wilderness place so that you can be purged and cleansed and find your purpose. Guys, you don't have to die in the wilderness. You can get through the wilderness just like Jesus did after 40 days and 40 nights, saints. Fasting in the wilderness, you know that the enemy had to have come and had to have sent every force he could against Jesus. And uh, Jesus prevailed. He stayed in the Word because he was the Word. Flesh. So he stayed in himself. I know that sounds weird, but if you think about it, saints, the Word of God lives in you. He is alive in you. He quickened your spirit. He brought you to life. So think about it, guys. If you really seriously will embrace your wilderness, just like Jesus, at the end of that wilderness, the devil's going to come to you himself. He's going to tempt you. Just like he did Jesus. Three times he tempted him. Three times Jesus, the Word, put the Word back on him. The spoken Word, just so you know, the sword of the Spirit is the spoken Word of God. It's spoken. Once it's spoken out of your mouth, it is life. It's just written words, logos, on the page. But when it comes to life like Jesus did, it's spoken out of your mouth. So Jesus put that Word back on him. Three times. He told him, it's the word, it's the word, it's the word. You know, when he said, it is written, it is written, it is written. And when he put that word on Satan, Satan departed from him for a season, saints. Don't think that the devil's going to leave you alone, never try to touch you or come back again. He couldn't touch Jesus, he was God in the flesh, but he sure did send all the forces of hell against him again in the Garden of Gethsemane. If you've never been in your wilderness, saints... If you've never defeated Satan in your wilderness time, how are you going to transition to the Garden of Gethsemane where all the sins of the world were upon the Lord? You're going to have your own suffering. The Lord said the trials and tribulations, the afflictions of the saints, they're going to be many. We're not to be afraid. He said, I've overcome the world. The saints, I just want to encourage you today that whatever your pulpit is, whether it's a horse or a, a worship minister, if you're a mother uh, raising small children, uh, that is your pulpit. If you're a father working to support your children, you're a single father or a single mother trying to support your children, that's your ministry. Support your children. Do what the Lord has called you to do. Bring them up in the way that they should go. When they're old, they will not depart from it. Speak the Word of God in your wilderness place. And learn and grow from that wilderness place. Don't allow the enemy to defeat you. You get to that 40th day and he comes to you. Don't think that he hadn't been plotting and planning and to find you at your weakest point. Jesus had fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. So seriously, saints, come on. After 40 days and 40 nights and you didn't eat or drink, you'd be a little bit weak in your flesh. But let me tell you what, your spirit man would be strong. And that's what you need to be focusing on is your spirit man being strong. So embrace your wilderness. Face Satan. Put the word on him. Put the word on him. Put the word on him. And you too shall overcome. It's Sister with a Testimony on my pulpit. The Mount of Olives. And her screen name, of course. Her fame name. And if she gets famous, that's okay. She's a horse. The Lord will do it. It's his tool her fame name Olivet so from my Mount of Olives haha <laughs> my new pulpit God bless you I love you I plead and apply the blood of Yeshua Hamashiach over you to hide protect and keep you in all your ways let's trot a minute and I just speak that the Lord himself will keep you and protect you in all your ways that his face will shine upon you and that you will richly allow the word of God to dwell in you and when the enemy comes like a flood you'll be able to lift up that standard against him a sister with a testimony God bless you I love you on the Mount of Olives
Later.